my peeps what's up wagwan welcome back to your girl tier 9 the house yes yes guys please remember to leave me one little bit of like and subscribe for other amazing content you know guys some recipe i'm not pro at all right and some recipe i am you know so so good at all right but guys if you want me to do a recipe leave it in the comment section and tell me how i'm doing okay guys so now we're gonna make a similar recipe to how jamaican fried dumpling but this is gonna be a little bit more detailed so it's more for caribbean recipe because lots of people in the caribbean do this it's called fry bake or float all right it's similar to the jamaican um, fried dumpling I have three cups of all-purpose flour I'm gonna show you how to turn all-purpose flour into self rising flour all right or if you want to do it the easier way add three cups of self rising flour to every cup of flour guys you're gonna need one and quarter to one and a half teaspoon of baking powder all right this one so we're gonna do the maths okay so we add three cups all right so now we're gonna go in baking powder all right two three another teaspoon and we're gonna add the half all right so there you go so one and a half teaspoon to every cup of flour. So four and a half. <laughs> it, it's gonna look a lot, guys, but when you buy self-rising flour, that's the amount you're getting in it. And now you need quarter teaspoon salt to every cup of flour. I'm just gonna give this a little mix, okay? And this is how you get your self-rising flour. I hope I explain it good enough. I will write it down, all right? Or you can buy the self rising flour, it's up to you. I have quarter cup of brown sugar, you can use granulated sugar. And I have a cup of warm milk, all right? I just warm it so we can dissolve the sugar, okay? And I'm gonna put my sugar in there and we're gonna mix this out. You can use water. Regular recipe calls for water, okay? But I choose to use milk. See, I'm like how you make Jamaican fried dumpling, guys. All right, same thing, you know, I see same thing. But this is just gonna be a little bit more longer process okay so we're gonna go ahead and mix this oopsie oh warm milk all right you're gonna make it into a dough like okay don't start off tough all right better you take your time and make it soft and then you add um gradually so and you better you put all of the milk and then after you add a little bit more flour me and the butter and a friend so i'm going to show you like the healthier choice what you can do all right to get it really moist and delicious just wait can you see this guys you see how soft and nice it is all right instead of adding flour to your surface add a little bit of olive oil all right about half teaspoon and you want to put some on your hands you see this guys okay and look at this now there we have the oil okay healthy olive oil all right knead this for about five minutes we'll do okay and if it start to stick just put a little bit more oil you don't have to put much like just a little bit all right and you continue to do that you don't need more than about two teaspoons you can fry it with the salt fish inside or you can fry this separate and then you serve it up with the salt fish or cod fish okay i'm gonna serve it up at the side you can do it like that too okay to stretch the dough like you beat it mm -hmm. all right guys when you finally knead it to your liking i'm gonna put a little oil here about quarter teaspoon and I'm just gonna roll this in all right I'm gonna keep it moist okay you don't want it to dry out cover this for about 20 25 minutes I have some salt fish all right this amount 
it's a pack and I use some out of it, but this is a good amount. Rinse out all the salt or most of the salt intake and um i'm gonna boil it boil it throw off the water and boil it again then i'm gonna come back and pick it up i have some bell peppers cut up i just cut them up ahead of time and you see the rasta color go on here guys yeah the red the green and the gold i have two stalks of scallion and one onion guys me a jamaican okay jamaican people love big things and enough things okay so therefore you can cut the bell peppers smaller and the onion you can you can neat and fine i split my skelly and the one that is too big and we're just gonna cut them up i'm gonna put about two tablespoons of olive oil you can put three something like that this is how it's looking guys after you finish boil it and rinse it off a few times and just pick it up with your hand like this if there's any bone you pick out the bone all right fry up my onions and scallions if you have some fresh cut garlic you can put that in as well but i'm gonna put garlic paste all right just give it a little stir let it kind of fry up a little bit after that come together <laughs> oh boy that smell that flavor oh yeah now we're gonna add our bell peppers as i said before you can cut them up um smaller all right and you're gonna give this a little stir so this is my blended seasoning i will leave a link i'm gonna put like a teaspoon i'm gonna put a little bit of ginger if you don't have ginger you can put some lemon juice or something like that just to give it a little kick and this is my garlic paste. I'm gonna put a teaspoon. I'm gonna put one maggi cube to flavor up my vegetable, guys. All right, so one maggi cube in there. Right there, so just like that. Just give this a little mix. Don't tell nobody we put so much flavor in there, guys. Who knew about this? Nobody know about this, all right? Mm -hmm. Time in my blended seasoning, but I'm gonna put a little bit of time, just a little bit. And this is my dry time guys you can eat this just by itself it's full of flavor i'm gonna add a little bit of cucumber you can even put tomato too right but i'm gonna want my cucumber to be crunchy and nice when i'm eating my saltfish so there i'm just putting my cucumber in now all right right here's your cucumber salad okay guys mm -hmm. put the saltfish or codfish for them call it gonna put some black pepper a teaspoon of paprika for a little color you can put a teaspoon of turmeric if you want as well okay mm -hmm. can I get the crunchiness from the cucumber still mm. oh my mom oh my mommy that's right all right, guys, we turn off the stove now, all right? And we're gonna go back to the next step. So we start, put this one side. I'm gonna use a little bit of flour this time, not too much, just a little bit. Just to dust like the surface right here. All right, and this is the goodness, you see that? See how soft it is? So light and soft, all right? So you're gonna cut it in some equal parts all right so first i'm just going to cut it in two all right cut one this off you can make them big you can make them small so i'm going to do about you can do about eight to ten all right all right you can even do like this okay guys and tuck them in it's up to you And you're just gonna continue to do all of them like this cover this for about five to ten minutes all right just like that I have my deep fryer here I'm doing it at 275 all right and if it's get if it gets too hot then you want to turn it down okay 
and I'm gonna go in with some of this um, canola oil and it tells you where you want to fill it in the pan okay you can use your hand and you can press it out or you can just dust your rolling pin and you're gonna roll it flat or thin as much as you want it okay Roll them and when the pot hot, you just put them in there, okay? This is a good round, thin size, all right? And this is how we're gonna do them. All right, about quarter inch thick or so, okay? We're just gonna place it in, just like that. Let it fry for about a minute and then you flip it back over until it's golden brown. See so it just swell up, guys? Yeah, that's how you want it. Just when it rises up like that, you wanna go ahead and flip it over. You see that goodness? Ooh, it swell up like my head. You see how big like my head, guys? I'm telling you, so Jamaican people love big things. I don't think I joke me, I make. <laughs> and over there. Oh boy, look how pretty that is. Look how the color pretty. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna flip it over and see how it's looking. Perfect. All right. Drain off the excess oil. You see your fat like my head, guys? All right, and we're gonna put it over here color we have guys it like never do it justice if you don't want it to settle to the bottom just place it here all right you're gonna put it here until it start to fry then you kind of let it go okay then it won't like stick to the bottom soon as it start to float you release it just like that You see how this one big? Oh my god. And this on my head. Look the guys. Oh, it big so till. Alright, we don't want it to burst, so leave it there. <laughs> Alright, guys, I flip it over there. I just want to show you how soft and airy this bad boy is. Look at that. Okay. So we're just gonna put some here in my little bowl or my container. I want to go ahead and open it you see the pocket inside guys can you see that you grab some of the goodness and you're just gonna stuff it in you can put a lot you can put a little bit it's up to you and then you close it mm. you see the goodness here guys Yeah, look at the goodness there, guys. Mm -mm. Them so fat and nice. Can you see the goodness here, guys? Juicy. Mm -mm. I come out back, all right? And this is it out back, outside. Natural lighting, although the sun gone down. But I made one. I'm going to ask my son to chase it, and I put... Put the stuff in, in it. Can you hear my bird chirping, guys? Try this. You can try yeah, this. Yeah, see it again. Eat pepper, some cucumber, some salsas. Onion in there too. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. It's good. You want something to drink with it? <laughs> but it's good? Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm here to say it's good. Yeah, it takes a little while because yeah. you have to fry them one by one. But if you if you have a big pot, you can fry all of them like four or five one time. Mm -hmm. So he's going to bite it over, guys. Because the first part. The second bite just as good as the first bite. So. It's just good? Alright. Mm -hmm. All right, but you say you want something to drink with it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, drink water. <laughs> All right, bye, guys. Bye. Peace.